Hello everyone, you're very welcome to this lesson on the Six Thinking Hats. So the Six Thinking Hats is a, a meeting technique originally, but can be used for lots of different problem solving and creativity issues. It was developed by Edward de Bono, who we know well, the creator of the court uh, techniques we looked at earlier on in the semester. And the Six Thinking Hats is similar, I think, particularly to the PMI, in the sense that it recommends at parallel thinking or thinking about different um, directions at different times. So it was developed in the context of meetings and particularly the notion that sometimes in a meeting, if a decision needs to be taken, different people have different perspectives on it. Some are maybe for the decision, some are against the decision. So then what happens is a great deal of time is spent in the meeting arguing over and back and over and back. What De Bono says instead is, have a fixed amount of time where everybody discusses the benefits of the decision. Have a fixed amount of time where everybody dis discusses the shortcomings or problems with the decision, but don't allow those times to overlap. And then you don't have the unnecessary conflict. So as a technique for reducing time in meetings, uh, usually what people say is a two hour meeting can be reduced down to a 20 minute meeting using this technique. So the six hats are six different directions we can look at during the meeting. We don't just look at each direction once, though so there are some hats we look at it multiple times. So De Bono sometimes says a, a traditional meeting is like a riot. You've got the police on one side and the rioters on the other. And often in meetings, you've got the innocent bystanders who are just sitting in the meeting thinking, oh my God, can this not be over or not? So what uh, De Bono says, uh, the six thinking hats is more like, it's more like a St. Patrick's Day parade marching. It's not precision military marching. People are just going along, they do the turns, they, they tr sometimes bunch up a bit or sometimes spread out a little bit too much, but in general, everybody's going and looking in the same directions at the same times. So each hat is a perspective, and um, I suppose we're familiar with using the term putting on your thinking cap and things like that. So each perspective can be taken on or put off, and each of the colors represent a different kind of perspective. And definitely, uh, it can be really effective if I am for an idea to put on the hat uh, to, to see what, what, what concerns I would have about the idea, just so I can see other people's points of view as well. And, and definitely, we can, it, it, it allows um, just the meeting to proceed well. It's used by lots of people all around the world, this Sixing Hats technique. So the first hat we'll talk about is the blue hat. Blue as in sky as in the overview. So in the blue hat, we're thinking about what is the purpose of this meeting? What is the decision we need to take? So as an example, I'm going to say we need to add a new production line onto the factory floor. So we've got three production lines ready and we want to add a fourth one onto the factory floor. So we're going to take the decision whether we should or should not add a production line on. And that's the goal of this meeting. The white hat, like white computer printout paper, says what are the facts what do we know how much would it cost in terms of electricity how many more products would we be producing how many, much more staff would we require on the production line how many shifts would would be needed how many more managers would be needed how much more packaging would be required and some information we'll know and then there'll be some information we need to find out about so in white hat mode we're identifying what we know and what we don't know but it's just facts and figures we're trying not to color them with our opinions, our views. Yellow, like the sunshine, is the warmth hat. It's the positive hat. It's the P in the PMI. It's what might be good if we add this production line on. What could the benefits be? Um, we can't just make up silly benefits. They have, there has to be logical rationale for them, but it's looking at what are the known benefits and what are the potential benefits. The black hat, like um, judicial robes, are conservative necessarily. And it's what reasons do we have to be cautious? Like the M, the minus in the PMI, why might this idea not work? What are the logical reasons why they could be false with this kind of idea? Green, as in green, the green growth of nature is the creative hat where we're growing and thinking of alternatives, think of possibilities, new ideas, new approaches. Um, and you like the PMI, we will often use the green hat to overcome the challenges we've identified in black hat mode and reinforce or enhance uh, benefits we might have identified in yellow hat mode. 
So let's say instead of a pr adding a new production line in, we look for a factory that's near us that we could um, rent time on their production lines to create new products. Or if we make these extra products, we might be able to break into a new international market or we could create a new logo for the organization or whatever. So during the green hat phase, we're, 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 we're thinking of all kinds of new ideas. And finally, the red hat, like our heart, is our feelings are in, and our intuition. What do we feel about this? Should we add a new production line in or not? And that doesn't have to be justified in any way. So if, if at the start of the meeting, the, in blue hat mode, we say, should we add a new production line in? I'm just going to ask everyone to give me thumbs up or thumbs down on that. And if everybody but one person is thumbs up and one person is thumbs down, the person who is thumbs down doesn't have to justify why they don't think it's a good idea in red hat mode. But in black hat, we'll all think of reasons why we shouldn't do this idea. But the, um, then we might look at some facts and figures, so some white hat around this idea of adding a new production line in. And after we've got some more facts and figures, maybe we'll do a thumbs up and thumbs down again, red hat again. If there's still not agreement, we might do our PMI, which is our yellow, black and green hat, and get out what the what the benefits could be, what the concerns could be, and ways of overcoming the concerns and, and enhancing the benefits. And then we might do a red hat again. And we typically finish off meetings with a blue hat where we say, all right, have we come to a conclusion? What's our conclusion? And what, what are our next steps going forward? If we have a meeting where we can't make a decision and, and we go through a sequence and a few, with a few different color, a few different goals at each of the colors hats, we just say, all right, let's finish this meeting now. Let's go off and find out the information we don't know about that we uncovered in white hat mode and then have another meeting later on. So that's the six thinking hats. Thanks very much. We'll see you soon.